How weird is it that, that it's an argument whether or not drag queens should be reading books to kids? What idea was this? Can, yeah, can we talk to the first person who came up with this idea? Like, what? Goes, what you know what kids that? lacking these days? The most aggressive gays yelling at them. <laughs> it's not meant for little kids. So somebody wearing makeup and even though it's not inherently sexual what they're doing in that moment, it's like what they're their whole thing is meant for a nightclub for adults. What? And I just don't think you should be experimenting with kids. How about guys on parole for violent crimes? How about have them read to kids? I just love drag queens in general. It's a great opportunity to combine having a little one and enjoying like the performance of drag. Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you made it through that intro, congratulations, you're the 1% of the 1%. I want to make things perfectly clear. This is not the channel for everybody, obviously. This is not the we care about everybody's feelings channel. It's just never been that way. I'm not that kind of person. And that's not the kind of content I want to create. I know it's going to be divisive and I'm going to get a lot of hate. That's OK. I'm, I, I don't really care about that. I'm here to talk truthfully and honestly always and give my honest takes and opinions on things. So if I think that something is abhorrent or disgusting, I'm going to call it as it is or as I see it. I'm gonna say this loud. I'm gonna say it clear so no one is, you know, confused. I think cross-dressing, transgenderism is a mental health disorder. I think that we should not be pushing this onto children. I'm glad to see Joe Rogan and the Legion of Skanks guys, you know, come out and say, hey, reading stories to kids while dressed in drag is essentially like having your kids be read by convicts or prisoners. At the very least, I've met some very nice drag queens, but at the very least, it's an odd choice. But with that being said, let's check out the short clip with Joe Rogan sitting down with the Legion of Skanks discussing Drag Queen Story Hour. But before any of that, over 98% of daily consumers to this channel have yet to subscribe. If you can do me the huge favor of hitting that sub button, I greatly appreciate it. And with that, let's get into it. Alrighty, so pretty early on to the podcast, they get right into the trans hate the trans bigotry. I'm not sure if uh, Joe's gonna get any backlash from this. I'm pretty sure uh, because only within a couple minutes they really get into you know the thick of it of as far as you know bigotry. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a lot of leftists and liberals are crying their eyes out over these comments made. Let's get right into it. <laughs> like I just wanted them to come out and say, I fucking did it and on I coke. Like, oh. I also wish there was like. Uh like a, a drag queen that would do something heroic so everyone's got to like praise the things of like you know like cunt lips thunder tits <laughs> they always got stupid names how weird is it that, that it's an argument whether or not drag queens should be reading books to kids it's what's the upside of that <laughs> yeah like why wh whose idea was this can, yeah, can we talk to the first person who came up with this idea I think it was actually a woman from San Francisco was the first one to come up with this whole disgusting you know thing of like letting um what's it called cross dressers you know read books to children i'm not sure what the bet i still don't understand what the benefit is is it that you want to expose your children to sexual deviancy is that what it is like yeah like what and it's crazy because it's like as much as they try to you know shake the groomer allegations the left just can't seem to do it because you know what kids lacking these days the most aggressive gays yelling at them <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, Sit and listen to the story, honey. It, at the very least, I've met some very nice drag queens. But at the very least, it's a... At the very least, that's fucking crazy. Odd choice that might be one that someone's out of their fucking mind chooses. It's a possibility, right? Oh. It's not zero. Absolutely. Well, I went to one. Yeah. <laughs> it's also like, there, it's, like a, it's almost like a. We, we actually did a sketch. We did a, a thing called Legion of Sketch where we performed dirty comedy to kids in a library. And that was the whole point is that we were like, you know, you know, it's it's an adult job. You know what I'm saying? It's not meant for little kids. So somebody wearing makeup and even though it's not inherently sexual, what they're doing in that moment, it's like what they're their whole thing is meant for a nightclub for adults. Well, that's why the people who defend it, they always go, I don't know, have you ever been to one? Like, it's just a guy in a dress reading a story. It doesn't have to be weird. But then you're like, you know what would be even less weird is a guy not in a dress reading a story. <laughs> or just, or just, uh, yeah, just like. This is the thing. It's just like, I don't know how we got to the point where we're promoting. S th there's nothing about it that's. There's no lesson learned here. There's no like a child doesn't gain anything from seeing a man in full makeup, in, not even full makeup, more than 
you know, what a regular woman, uh, actual one woman would wear. And, you know, it just looks, you know, disgusting for some reason. I, it just looks something about it just looks weird. Even at, I think even little kids know it's odd. It just looks out of place. It's like still that uncanny valley type of situation where I, I also I'm I'm I don't know why ch uh, teachers are allowed to have like pride flags or rainbow flags in schools and i don't know why teachers both male and female are allowed to essentially dress however they like i would much rather like to go back to all the times where a male teacher wore a suit and a tie and a woman teacher wore the equivalent of that for women i guess like a button-up jacket and you know a dress shirt and a skirt or pants whoever the person pants. so i guess the, the argument for it would be this is what makes these people happy and we should normalize the fact that they want to dress up like very flamboyant women we should normalize that's it, the that's the thing it's like that's not a good argument that's not a a good argument it's like oh this reading to children dressed like women makes them happy it's not a good argument to do something. It's like, oh, well, it's going to make them happy. They just want to read to kids. Let's not forget about the fact that, you know, uh, a lot of them are homosexual males. You know, a lot of cross-dressers are homosexual males. And we know that a lot of gay people, you know, just by the statistics, have we were abused as children. It's just what we know. You know, they had some kind of, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So, you know, I always... It's very interesting that parents will say i i don't want to take my kids to like a religious school or catholic school you know because of the implications of priests or you know uh boy scouts anything like this where kids are isolated with you know adults but they have no problem taking their child to an event where it's obviously a disturbed person you know putting on a performance a very you know, most drag, most of those performances are very sexual in nature. The, the, You're doing the porn argument, if you, you wanted happy, to like, you shouldn't have porn stars reading books to kids either. Yeah, for right. what? Yeah. If you wanted to take the other side's position, like, what would you say? You would say, hey, this is fine to do that. It's fine to do that. But it's still a biological man who's dressed up like a woman who's reading things to kids. It's still, it's like the odds of this being a hundred percent like really rational fascinating person even like 30 percent it's like i don't i don't think anyone that's cross-dressing is a hundred percent rational let alone 30 percent rational i think they're off the deep end well, it's gonna read books to your kid or someone who's out of their fucking mind there's it's not like a zero percent thing it's like something you should be kind of concerned about if it was a yeah. stripper reading it's like a 90 percent thing kid, <laughs> or an ex-convict yeah you would just go like yeah it's just not like it, it. and here we go this is where joe i'm not sure if he he doesn't even backtrack he's like he's like yeah yeah it's like a, <laughs> it's like a convict reading to children i'm like joe you're basically saying transgender or cross dressers or you know drag queens are the equivalent of letting your kids <laughs> be read to by fucking prisoners the the whole thing that's interesting about it is you take this fish out of water and i just don't think you should be experimenting with kids how about guys on parole for violent crimes how about have them read to kids there it is you hear it, you're hearing it here first. Joe Rogan is equating cross dressing to violent criminals <laughs> when associated with children. Like, that's the thing. It's like, you can, if you're an adult, do what, fuck, do what you want, essentially. Like, for the most part, we don't really care what you're doing unless you're not doing something to blatantly hurt other people, right? But if you're at a drag queen show and people are paying to attend, you know, have at it. You know, the boys want to slide around on piss and jizz you know do it but don't bring kids into there they're how about them, they're giving puppies now how about corrupt read. corrupt politicians have them read to kids that how one about, I, that i object to the how most how about ceos have been arrested for embezzlement how about them reading to kids how about all kinds <laughs> like of like and i think he said the like he's he realized what he said he's like oh fuck i just compared <laughs> i just compared drag queens to fucking convicted felons or prisoners uh, on parole for <laughs> so how do I back out of this one? And be like, oh yeah, uh, corrupt politicians. It's like, it's like oh, CEOs of corporations that didn't pay their taxes, right? Maybe well, cool. Read to them. <laughs> maybe cool, but maybe super fucking sketchy people <laughs> reading stories to kids. You but, know, there's a lot we damn. can go with a lot of them. It's reading time with Deshaun. Right. 
I don't know, dude. I was a Mary. People convicted of violent assault, but they they wouldn't do it again. It was a bad move. Have read the kids. I was uh I was on one of those apps. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy, yo. Like this is I. It's been two, three days since this video dropped, and I can't believe a shitstorm hasn't, you know, come on Joe Rogan's door where he has to apologize for being like, hey, everybody, I'm sorry I said drag queens are basically fucking convicted felons on parole for fucking violent crime. You know, sorry I made the comparison that reading to children in man, a man in heels reading it slightly to violent fucking. Babysitter uh, recently, and it's it's a very weird thing. I'd never done it before, and it's almost like it's almost like a dating app. Like you're like swiping left and right, but it's on for babysitters it's for pictures. your kids. And I will say, and I'm on the Legion of Skanks. I'm a comedian. I hang out in a pretty seedy world, but it is amazing how judgmental you get when you're just judging a person off their face over whether they're going to watch your kids. You're oh, just like, yeah. nose ring. You'll never, never be, freak. You'll never be so, more racist. <laughs> more <laughs> racist. T- tattoos on the face is a no-go. Yeah, okay. it's, just, it's not like being an MMA fighter. Yeah, it's like, you might be cool. You might be a cool <laughs> like, person. But... Sugar Sean O'Malley could pull it off. Post Malone could pull it off. But not <laughs> yeah. the fucking baby. I'm considering getting a tattoo on my face at Skankfest. Like, how about yeah. if there was... Yeah. That's a good idea. The one we said. How about if there was guys with <laughs> tattoos on their faces <laughs> that wanted to read stories to kids would that be cool who would be yeah. cool with that I guys would be with tattoos that. if it was post malone you'd be like of course he's so cool let him read the stories to kids that'd be really fun they'd but would you be enjoy. weirded out if your kids had like a face tattoo teacher at all mm-hmm. yeah i'd be weirded out uh, i would not i would not, not like that, that. listen like jelly rolls is the coolest motherfucker sure. alive he's got face tattoos there's a lot of people that do them and wish they didn't do them or do them and are happy with them and like them it's cool no i'm not saying you should the- a lot of tattoos, but I would never, I would never tattoo my face. Most of my legs are completely done. My arm, one of my arms is, you know, pretty much covered. Uh, but no, it's like I, the same way I wouldn't want a convict around. I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I wouldn't, unless it's a family member. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't fucking know. You know, I'm saying like some hardened criminal that we know did it. It's like for violent crime, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not gonna take my kids around you, bro. Like it's just not happening. Exactly how I feel when they're just like, oh, let's go for it. You know, drag queens totally out. The kids are like, no, young boys, my guy. They always say we're not grooming children, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. This is not indoctrination. If you're taking small children at these kind of events, you're indoctrinating that them to think that this is okay or a sane thing to be, but. We know like transgenderism, stuff like that is still considered DDSM-5, which is like, you know, a person with a mental disorder is still considered a mental disorder to be trans. And I'm not saying trans and cross-dressing is exactly the same, but I feel like they're pretty close. I think that, you know, a lot of these older fucking, you know, cross-dressers that they had the, you know, they were young during this time, they'd probably be called themselves trans. They wouldn't say cross-dressers or fucking drag queen. They'd probably say, hey, I'm you know, I'm trans now or whatever. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they, they're still happening, but now I feel like it's mostly, you know, if you're dressing like a lady, they're calling you trans. I don't know. <laughs> they're going to call you she, her when you're obviously a fucking, it's like, no, I'm not a fucking she, her. I'm a man that likes to wear women's clothes. You fuck, you fucking bigot. Get that right. I don't think I, I don't want to have a fucking pussy. I just want to put on heels and a thong. My God, we're in a crazy world. But yeah, dude, when it comes to children, like I see videos of these and it's a lot of white parents, dude. I'm going to say it's a lot of white parents trying to like be, you know, progressive. And it's just like, I don't know. I just don't see it, you know, really hitting in the, you know, Latino or black communities. But that was pretty much the clip. I am sure at some point, you know, some people are going to see this and, you know, break Joe, try, try to cancel him or be like, oh, 
you bigot or whatever but i thought it was funny i thought it was comedic i feel like he's speaking for the majority of men that they they're most likely not interested in their kids you know seeing that kind of stuff i mean if there was like a pride event or whatever even if they said it's all ages i'd be like it's probably not good for kids to be there but it's all the time we have for now thanks for watching if you stay to the end i appreciate it like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a clip and until next time later thanks <laughs>